situation. Well, let me just tell you a little secret about Robinhood. Robinhood, uh, to me, is uh, it's it's literally a terrible investment, in my view. Uh, Robinhood has become another meme stock. Robinhood's gotten messy. Robinhood's extremely overpriced. And Robinhood, they're, they're doing a reverse Robinhood on y'all's butt right now, where they are effectively taking money out of the pockets of the little guy and putting money into the pockets of the big guy. Now, why do I make that assessment? Where did I get that from? Well, here's the deal. Here's what's going on with Robinhood. So Robinhood stock comes out. First, it plummets. It just, you know, it doesn't do very well. And then suddenly it becomes a meme stock. It starts to, the value just starts to inflate. I think it went up 81% in one day, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's a huge move for a stock uh, in one day. It's, it doesn't even make any sense. And uh, and then the next day, you saw where Robinhood dropped about 25%, something like that, if I'm not mistaken. Well, why did it drop so much? That's the question. Why did it drop so much? Well, the reason Robinhood stock dropped as much as it did, uh, 25% or so in one day, if I'm not mistaken, I got I to look at the exact numbers, is because they made an announcement where they said, we're going to, we just got authorization to sell another 97 million shares on the market. And, and, and this, this is interesting, right? So, so what they're doing basically is they're doing what you should do in business. This is the rule of business, buy low, sell high. <laughs> Anybody knows how to buy low, sell high. It can be a multimillionaire or even a billionaire. Uh, what they're doing is they're saying, holy crap, wait a minute, wait, we issued this stock at what price? I can't remember what the Robinhood IPO is. Let me see if I can do a little screen share for you guys. And everybody on Instagram wants to see it. Just go to uh, the Black Financial Channel if you want to see the screen share. Let me pull up a screen share of Robinhood stock. And I want you to compare the IEO uh, the IPO price. Uh, and I want you to look at the um, the current price. Okay, here we go. There, there it is on the screen now. All right, so let me pull this up. Hit the thumbs up button right now while I do this. Please hit the thumbs up button now. Please share this video because uh, I want we want to build Black-owned media and we really need your help. So please do that. All right, so here is uh, Robinhood stock. This is uh, over a five-day period. Let's go back a month just so we can go to the beginning of the IPO. So here uh, you see the IPO price, 3482 And then it, it rose and rose and it keeps going up and up and up. And then it hits $70. So, so let's just, first of all, put that into context. When they put out the price at $34 or whatever the IPO price was, that price didn't come out of thin air. They didn't just say, well, hmm, I wonder what price we should pick. Let's just grab, let's just pull a price out of our butt and hope that hope for the best. They didn't do that. They had analysts, people like me, who sat down and did the mathematics and figured out what the fair market value of this stock is. So the insiders, the people who know more about the company than you and I will ever know, came to the conclusion that this stock is worth about 30 something dollars. Right. So right there, when you see the price double to 70, there's a problem with that. There's a big problem with that. It's, it's like, uh, you know, when they it's like asking somebody, if you ask, a, uh, if you're trying to date somebody and they present themselves and you say, well, so what do you think you are? That you're talking to them on the phone. And let's say you've never seen them before. And they say and you say, well, what would you rate yourself in terms of attractiveness? And they say, I'm, I'm about a I'm about a four. And then you treat the four like they're a nine. Um, that means that you're probably you, you probably should have listened a little more closely when they told you they were a four, because then when they show up in their butt ugly, you're going to be like, wait, you lied to me. Well, no, they didn't lie to you. You lied to yourself. So right now, investors are lying to themselves if they think Robinhood stock is worth $70. The insiders, the people that know the company better than you, do not believe that the stock is worth $70. They believe it's worth about 30 something. So when Robinhood saw the stock price shoot up like this, they did it kind of what AMC did, except they did something a little more sinister. AMC, when they saw their stock price get inflated and overvalued, they said, holy crap, this is our big chance. We can make this company whole again. The, we got people that are willing to put money, uh, you know, trust their money uh, to us to go and, and pay down some debt and make some acquisitions and make this company better. That's not such a terrible thing. It's a little bit risky. It doesn't make a lot of sense to be honest with you because AMC stocks worth about a penny, literally, maybe maybe a dime. But people will pay, you know, 50 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever the price they're paying right now um, because they're hoping for the best. OK, fine. No problem. You can do that if you want to. Robinhood's a little different. The money that they're going to raise from these 97 million shares that they received authorization to sell, that money is not going to uh, to toward making the company a better company. That money's not going toward the coffers to pay down debt. You know where that money's going? It's it's money that will be raised for the people who already own the shares. So the insiders in the company, the people who bought the shares first, the people who bought it pre IPO have received authorization to dump nearly 100 million shares on all the suckers that are willing to pay damn near double what the stock is worth. So 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 what I'm saying to you is that not only is Robin Hood a meme stock. But some would almost say that what they're doing is, is borderline unethical, but it's, it can't be defined to be totally unethical because it's public. It's public information. They, they just had to file the paperwork and report what they're doing, and they're doing it. So they're robbing you, but they're robbing you in broad daylight. It's not like they're, it's not like they're doing anything sinister. They didn't hide it. They didn't say, oh, this is a big scandal. We better keep this to ourselves. They said, no, everybody, here's what we're about to do. We're about to take your money, and since y'all the suckers that believe in the stock no matter what, uh, you fell in love with our company. We ain't in love with you. So uh, you remember, that's a, that's a good rule of dating, I think, is don't fall in love with somebody who ain't in love with you. Don't fall in love with a gold digger because she's there for the money. You there for something else, right? So basically, Robin Hood is saying, look, if y'all love this company so much, cool. You can buy it for double the price. We're about to be up out of here so that we can go invest in something that's really worth what we're putting our money into. And so effectively, I'm not telling you not to buy Robinhood stock, but what I am telling you is that this, to me, is not an investment. This is a meme stock. Uh, meme stocks are basically gambling, and gambling is not healthy for your portfolio.